Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. So, today we are going to proceed to chapter 4 uh, which is the alphabetic storage and retrieval. Uh, previously, you have learned about uh, in chapter 1, 2 and 3 about the records management for office professional. Okay. So, what is the special thing about chapter 4 is we are going to learn the hands-on, especially on the indexing, indexing rules and the cross-reference. So, what we are going to learn in chapter 4 is the indexing name for filing purposes, the indexing rules, the examining alphabetic cards across references, and lastly is the alphabetic records management. So, we are going to learn this one in detail one by one after this. Okay, so why do you need? Uh, why do we need to alphabet uh, to to use the alphabetic order? Okay, alphabetic order. Uh, in other words, we are arranged according to the alphabetic A to Z. Okay, so what is records actually? So records serve as the memory of an organization and help a business do business. So I'm going to give you an example of records is maybe this uh, salary records, okay, or the records of your customer, for example, the banking services. So in banking services, they have a records of the, what we call uh, the uh, records of their customer, records of any transaction, okay, and also records of sales and services, okay. So, what are the filing method or storage method? There are four, which is the alphabetic, which is the most common method used by any organization. And then, we are going to learn after this in chapter 5 in detail, uh, which is the subject storage method, the numeric storage method, and also the geographic storage method. Okay, so now we are going to focus on the alphabetic uh, storage method. So, indexing name for filing purposes. Okay, so uh, when you have a personal name or when you have the business name, how you are going to do this, uh, the filing for these names? Okay, so alphabetic indexing rules provide office workers with the necessary guidelines to arrange personal and business names alphabetically. Okay, so your name is, we call it as a personal name and the business name, for example, Kentucky Fried Chicken is uh, known as business name. So, index, what is index? Index means a pointer or indicator and the rule, this is not uh, the rule that you use, okay, but this one is a rule, is an established guide for action. So, what is indexing rule? So, indexing rules are established guide that indicate the proper location of a record in a file. So, what is filing rules? So, all filing rule or all filing is done to facilitate retrieving information and also the ARMAS uh, alphabetic indexing rules provide the guidance. Okay, uh, previously you have learned about the ARMA. Okay, and lastly is the consistently following filing rules and procedures helps in rapid retrieval of information. So, this is ARMA. Again, what is ARMA? ARMA is Association of Records Managers and Administrator Incorporation. Okay, so actually ARMA is important professional group for records and information managers. But for us in Malaysia, we are referring to Arkit Negara for our uh, for filing uh, management. Okay. So, there are two functions of ARMA. The first one is to improve the educational programs in school and industry. And the second function of ARMA is to provide on-the-job knowledge about the records and the information management. Okay. Now, what is indexing? Again, you need to know what is the definition for indexing. Okay, so the definition of indexing is actually a mental process of select the filing segment, divide the filing segment into filing units, and also determine the order of a filing units. 
So in other word, indexing is a mental process of select the filing segment, divide the filing segment into filing units, and lastly determine the order of filing units. So we are going to uh, take a look what is indexing actually about. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, uh, in detail. So the first, uh, the the first uh, definition of indexing is select the filing segment. So what is the filing segment? Filing segment is actually the complete name, subject, numeric, or location being used for filing purposes. For example, your full name is one of the example of what we call the filing segment for uh, name. Okay, and again, I repeat, uh, the Kentucky Fried Chicken is an example of the filing segment for the business name. Okay, the full name, the complete name. Okay, this is what we call the filing segment. Okay, next one, number two, divide the filing segment into filing unit. Okay, it can maybe a word, maybe a letter, a number, or any combination of this. So, alphabetized by comparing the filing units letter by letter. So, now we are going to take a look on this one. This is example of a filing segment which is the personal name. So, the personal name is Helen L. Sank. Uh, this is, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, Sankers. Okay. It's made up of three separate filing unit. Okay, so Helen L. Sankers, we call it as this one is a filing segment of a personal name and then you are going to divide this one into the filing unit by using this one, diagonal line. So we have three filing units. Okay. Uh, now, in detail, rule for indexing personal name is to consider the surname last name first. Key unit, filing unit consider first in filing segment. Encoding, physical process of marking the indexing unit in the filing segment to indicate the order in which they are considered when filing. Okay, so this is personal name or a complete personal name and then we call it as a filing segment. So, when you are going to divide the filing segment into filing unit, you are using this one diagonal line. So, we have one, two, three filing unit and then the last name, okay, we call it for the personal name, for English personal name, we call it as a key unit. So, this is the key unit. Helen will be number 2 and L will be number 3. Okay, so uh, this is the last one. Uh, how we are going to code the filing segment? Okay, uh, I'm going to repeat again. Separate the units with diagonal line, okay. So, this is a filing segment, Jane T. Shang, okay. And then you separate the units with diagonal line. Okay, this is diagonal line or we call it as a, a slash. Okay, so when you use the slash, you have one, two, three filing units. Okay, again, this is filing segment. When you divide into filing units, you have three filing unit. Underline the key unit. So for English name, Shang is the key unit. Okay, this will be number one. Jane will be number two. And T will be number three. Write numbers above uh, the remaining units to indicate their rank in correct filing order. So, in order for us to arrange the alphabetic order, we need to code uh, the filing uh, units. Okay. So, this one is for the uh, what we call personal name. But for business name, index as written. Index as written means you coding uh, as what it is written. For example, the business name is long chance slash eatery. So, this, uh, we, when we underline this one, this is the key unit and this one will be the uh, unit number two. Okay. But uh, I'm going to show you again for this one so that you can uh, get a clear picture. Okay, so now, coding example for personal name. We are still in the indexing. Okay, so the, the example here, the per, uh, the filing, the personal name is Laura J. Huff. Laura J. Huff, we can also known as the filing segment because it is a complete name. So, half is the key unit. Okay, this one is the key unit. So, Laura will be the second unit and J will be the third unit. Okay, this is an example for this one. 
Okay, we are using the diagonal line and then you are coding this one. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you in detail Laura Jehov is a filing segment. Okay, so when you have a filing segment, the second definition, we are going to divide the filing segment into filing unit. So we need to use the diagonal line. Okay, diagonal line, the first one and the second diagonal line. So now we have one, we have two, we have three filing units okay so this is Laura J half a complete name or we call it as a filing segment and then we divide the filing segment into filing unit by using the diagonal line or slash and then now we have one two three filing uh, units next we are going to arrange uh, the, the order of the filing units which one first so this one is a personal name so you need to remember the last name is the key unit so you need to underline okay so half will be the key unit and you underline this one Laura will be number two J will be number three so when we arrange in a table so you need to arrange this one in a table okay so the filing segment is Laura J half and the key unit is half put back yeah you need to write back on the table half unit 2 is Laura and unit 3 is J so make sure key unit unit 2 and unit 3 3 you must write in capital letter but Laura J half you need to just copy back the the pers the complete personal name or the filing segment okay so now we are going to show when you have uh, the second example is Laura Huff. This is a personal name, okay? And the second step is you divide filing segment into filing unit. Previously, you have three filing unit, okay? When you divide, you need to use the diagonal line, okay? Number one and two. So for this one, you only have two filing units. So next, we are going to arrange the order of the filing unit so which one first so for the personal name english name the last unit is the key unit so you need to underline and laura will be the second unit so when we arrange this one in a table so this is laura half the key unit is half and unit two is laura because we have only two units okay so this is example for the personal name the next one, what happened if you have the Malay name? So when you have the Malay name, you need to index as written, uh, like the business name. So the file, this is uh, Ali Mahasan is a filing statement because it is a complete personal name. And then you need to use the second step, divide the filing statement into filing unit. The one diagonal line, two diagonal line. So how many filing units do you have? one two and three so you have three filing units so the next one we are going to determine the order of the filing unit previously for english name the last unit is the key unit but this one for malay name index as written so ali will be the key unit mat will be unit number two hassan will be unit number three so when we arrange in a table for the filing segment you copy back the filing segment or the personal name and then you arrange this one according to the key unit key unit is ali unit 2 is mat unit 3 is hasan make sure key unit unit 2 unit 3 you must write in capital letter okay so this example of personal name formally name okay now we are going to take a look on the business name again for the business name index as written so example of the business name here is half and sons construction so the entire name for business name is the filing segment so half will be the key unit and will be the second unit son will be the third unit and construction will be the fourth unit okay so i'm going to show you in detail for business name 
So now, half and sun's construction. So this is what again we call it as a complete business name or the filing segment. So the next step, you divide filing segment into filing unit by using a diagonal line. You have one diagonal line, you have two diagonal line, and you have three. So how many filing units do you have? You have one, you have two, you have three, and you have four. So you have four filing units. So the next one, we are going to determine the order of the filing units. So for business name again, index as written. So half will be the key unit, N will be unit number two, sons will be unit number three, and construction will be unit number four. So how we are going to convert this one in the table. So this is uh, how your answer will be look like. So in filing segment, you copy back half and son construction. No need to use this one in capital letter. But key unit, unit 2, unit 3, unit 4, you must write in capital letter. Again, I repeat, you need to write in capital letter. Okay, so half, okay, and son, the third unit, and construction, the fourth unit. Okay, so that's it uh, as introduction of what indexing all about. So after this, we are going to learn in detail uh, the eight rules of in indexing table. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.